Casper. All right, you can see this breakout. Uh, having a little bit of a retrace right now. Okay, quite honestly, I believe this thing is probably coming down, you know, to uh, right around 0 0.034. It's past the 618 Fibonacci area here. Okay, and that's where you usually, uh, and we're going the way you measure these. Okay, right here is where this next wave. Well, let's go out here. Let's go in a 12 hour. Okay, this wave here started down here. Okay, you go from the swing low to the swing high. You could probably actually come down here and start it, but we're going to go from here. I believe that's probably where we want to start it. Whoops, sorry about that. And see where this uh, retrace is coming to and where we could bounce from. All right right about there okay yeah you can see it uh, actually it's getting really close it hit that 702 so I would be expecting a bounce any time out of this thing quite honestly um, you know that's uh, usually what happens it gets that 702 that 786 is your last line down here at 0 0.034 but uh, the 702 is a very good area let's see if we've gotten any kind of reaction at all there uh, the one hour, you know, we got a couple red candles. The four hour, it has uh, stretched down there. Right now, we're down 6.6% uh, 6 .6 right now. Okay, so, um, but I believe this pullback is about over. If we go through these uh, relative strength indexes, uh, let's take a look and see. And it could pull down here. What was that? Let me see here. I'm going to pull this down a little bit, but uh, let's see where that 786 is at. Right there. Yeah, that's 786. It could end up pulling back down here to 0 0.034 towards that 786. It's at the 702 right now. The Fibonacci, all right, uh, usually is a very good indicator. That 786 is your last line usually get a bounce around them areas okay you got your four hour rsi oversold at the bottom way down here okay ready to turn up you got your eight hour at the bottom at the bottom down here ready to turn up a zero and a five you got your 12 hour right at the bottom uh also so uh everything is pointing towards towards higher prices all right the only thing it isn't the daily is uh is still coming down a little bit almost corrected it's at a 13 and a 28 all right you want to see that thing uh be nice to get that daily the whole way down there too that's why you could get that final push down here to the uh, 0 0.034 area um which would not surprise me a bit okay that would get that daily reset then you would have your daily your 12 your 8 and your 4 all reset your weekly is still heading up at an 89 and a 77 and the monthly uh you don't got a monthly on it yet okay but everything is pointing towards this correction to being uh very close to being over okay do we have any kind of uh abc in here let's take a look But uh, not that I really see here. No, I don't, see, I don't really see an ABC. Usually after five waves up, you have an ABC come in, a corrective move. All right, but this looks just like a, uh, a straight down correction pretty much. I'd watch for the point zero three four. I believe that's going to be very, very good support. Worst case scenario right down here at uh, point zero three four one one. Okay. But both of these areas are, are super support for this thing. And I would watch a bounce to start from there. Casper is uh, looking pretty good. And you can see the volume starting to pick up. 28%, uh, 6.4 million. Love that. $401 million market cap, rank number 107. The smaller the market cap, the more excited I am about a project. You know, the ones that start getting up into the 10 billion takes a pile of money to move them coins all right or tokens uh the ones that have you know uh you know where where this is at 400 million 
uh, down to, you know, to 10 million. You know, them are the coins. Um, it doesn't take as much money to move price action, right? When you have 28%. Uh, volume coming in over the last 24 hours obviously uh, people see a bottom coming in especially the traders the guys out there know how to read charts um, that that's where you uh, that's where they're at okay I want to give a shout out to the members um, thank you so much guys everybody that is a level four and a level three has signed up for the trading classes I've gotten very good responses from that and uh, I couldn't do it without you guys. You really uh, keep the channel going. So thank you so much to all the members out there. And if you're new, welcome. I hope you enjoy the videos. Uh, 17 videos over 6 hours of content teaching you how to read charts. You know, draw support, resistance lines, uh, bullish and bearish patterns. Um, you name it. It's in there, and I add uh, a video a week to that, and um, my goal is to get, uh, you know, around 30 videos in there, and uh, obviously I have to raise the price after that. $14.99, that's, that's very, very cheap for trading lessons, you know. Um, I'm a small YouTuber, so right now I'm just, uh, I'm keeping it where it's at for the time being, and... Uh, We'll just go from there with it right now but down the road i i have to raise the prices on it because it just um you know i got a lot of time in that six hours for 15 bucks what am i paying myself if somebody buys at three dollars an hour not even that you know so um i i just want people out there to learn and the positive feedback i get from them videos it just makes my day you know i have, I have guys out there that got the videos that are uh, that they're doing this stuff on their own already you know and I've only been monetized three months or something but that, that makes my day when I when I get a message like that you know so um, I had one meant uh, the other day said I've learned so much from you I'm, I'm making money in trading now and just uh, them things make my day you know that uh, if you can help another human being out there I can't give them away okay um, I had them at $25 for a very long time. Um, $14.99 is, uh, it's, it's like a, almost like a gift, okay? You're going to spend that on a lottery ticket or something. Uh, spend it on something that could change your life, man. I mean, it could literally, it could change your life, you know? Has mine. Um, you know, I live in these charts. You know, I work a normal job like everybody else. I work in the health industry and, uh, you know, and all my the rest of my time is spent looking at these charts because I love it. I, I'm addicted to it. I want it to be my full time job, and eventually it will be. Uh, I think after this next bull run, I should be in good enough shape to do that. And uh, that's what I want to do for a living. You know, put videos out. The the money I make off YouTube is 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 you know, it's not very much, guys. I have two thousand subscribers. I'm tiny. I, you know, I have a great following. I love you guys. The people who watch my videos. I can't thank you enough, man. If it wasn't for you guys, I, I wouldn't be doing this. It's it, it's not really worth the time. But uh, the, the comments I get and the responses are make it well worth it. So watch for the pullback down here to the point zero three four. Okay? Right from there, worst case, point zero three four zero. The bounce should start from there okay and uh and this thing should start heading back up casper like i said the 12 hour hours rsi the eight and the four are all at the bottom the daily is almost there and the weekly is still bullish so looking for higher prices here if we put a fibonacci on this thing up here um that 702 is that area you really want to get through and uh look at that Look how that hit that 786 right on the dot. Look at that. This this one right here. That wick right there hit the 786, the very last fib level, and uh, got knocked back here. Okay, so this next run we take at it. Once it uh, if it gets back up to that, uh, you know, point zero three eight seven, very very crucial area. Okay, and that last fib level. Look how it lines up. Perfect with resistance up there at uh, 0 0.03, 0 
0.0397 roughly you know we break through there and then we're looking at higher targets so we'll keep an eye on this thing but uh like i said watch down there for that support that first uh, resistance coming up is going to be at uh 0 0.0367 we get through that and we should be heading up to the 0 0.0397 so uh things are looking good here looks like this pullback should be uh, approaching an end all right thank you so much guys have a great day and I hope uh, I hope all of you are blessed and uh, and and God bless you. Love y'all. Thanks a lot.